welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching and showing you guys how to create these beautiful wings that you lace into any high top shoe you have. Um, I'm going to get straight into it. This is what they look like at the end. I'll show you more later. Here we go, guys. Get all ready for this. Step one, get your materials. You will need Mod Podge some paint, I prefer craft paint, a paintbrush, I prefer a bigger brush, a sponge brush, it doesn't need to be all that big, a nice paint palette that is easily be cleanable, an exacto blade, one that has a nice sharp end, a little screwdriver to poke holes, some glitter glue, I'm using a silver, some used cardboard for a base, and then some new cardboard to make the wings out of. For your wing um, tracer paper, you're going to want it to be about 5 inches by about 3 or 4 inches. You want to make it look as basic and simple and kind of square based as you can. You're going to have little edges and some holes in the side. You're going to want to measure that on your shoe so that you make sure that those laces can go through. Now you're going to want to trace your wings your wing template with your pencil on the new fresh cardboard twice, making sure that you mark where the holes are. I have already pre-traced mine, but this is just how you do it. Keep it nice and straight. Now take your newly traced wing cardboard and put it on top of an old piece of cardboard. I'm going to be using a scissors and I want to cut this in half just so it's a little easier. It's an optional step, you don't have to. But now I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and start cutting it out. Make sure that you press hard so you can get through the cardboard, but it's alright if you can't. If you're young or you just aren't tough enough to do this, please have an adult do it so you don't hurt yourself. Make sure that the points are nice and uh, pointy, obviously so that they look a little more like wings and you don't have to worry about them being round. Also, whenever you are done cutting out the shape, make sure you pop it out nicely and mark where the holes are. I make a little X on the hole so that I can poke through it easily with my screwdriver. Here I'm just kind of trying to pop it out because I didn't press quite hard enough. But it's alright if you didn't press hard enough, just recut it over and it'll come out nice and fine. It's kind of like making cookies. Use like a cookie cutter, but instead of a cookie cutter, you're just cutting it on out. Here I'm just making little X's like I talked about earlier so that we can poke the holes through with our mini screwdriver. Make sure your X-Acto blade is not in your hand so you don't hurt yourself and just poke through the cardboard. It shouldn't be all that hard. It's thin and your screwdriver is pointy. Now you're just going to repeat the process with your other wing, making sure not to hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. Now get your paint, I'm using black acrylic craft paint, and your paintbrush, I'm using a 3 4 inch brush. Just pour out your paint and start using nice, even layers of paint. I only used one layer because black is a thick color. Just make sure that you go in the same direction when you paint so that it all looks nice. And make sure that you rub against the edges also so that they aren't brown like your cardboard, or I guess whatever color cardboard you're using. Make sure that it's all nice and evenly covered. And then when you're done painting one, just move on to the next one. Simple as that. Try not to get any fingerprints on them because after all, they are wings. You don't need to touch them with your hands. Once that side is dry, just begin to paint over the next side. This side, if your cardboard is like mine, it might need a lot more paint because mine is from a special K box that I used to have full of um, special K granola bars. Because it has a texture on it, it's a little harder to paint, so it's okay if you have to use multiple extra layers on this side. Just 
Continue to paint like you did before, keeping the edges nicely and making sure that it's nice and even. Now let them dry. Now we're going to start the Mod Podge process. This will just make it look nice and finished and glossy. I'm using the sponge brush, just dipping it in and gently and carefully applying it in nice even strokes, making it thin but also thick at the same time and even all across it. It should be white and whenever it dries it'll be clear. Repeat this onto both wings and let it dry for about 20 minutes at least, making sure that it's nice and glossy. Now that that side is done and dry, turn them over carefully, don't rip them, and just mod podge the next side like you did before. Even, thick, thin at the same time, and making sure that it's white at least a little bit so that whenever it dries it's glossy. And then again, let this side dry for 20 minutes. Make sure that you move them after you put the mod podge on so that they don't stick to the cardboard underneath. You don't want that. Now this next step is very, very important. Make sure that you re-poke the holes so that the Mod Podge and paint aren't covering them up. It might get your hands a little dirty, but just wash them off later. Now make sure that they are on the sides that you like the best, that turned out the best, and that they're pointing the different directions. Now take your glitter glue, carefully trace the outline of the wing, making sure not to cover up the holes, and to make this nice and slow so that everything looks nice and even and smooth. Sparkly. Once done with the first wing, just apply glitter like you did before to the next wing. You can do a little touch-ups with your screwdriver if the glitter gets a little messy. Now just put them down and let them dry so that you can apply them to your shoes.